Today we will dive into the world of Samba and see how we can install, configure and connect it on Ubuntu using graphical user interface. So what exactly is Samba? Well, it's a fantastic tool that seamlessly allows you to share files and printers between Linux and Windows machine. And on Ubuntu, we have a set of GUI tools that make configuring and managing Samba shares super easy. So let's get started. If you are using a newer version of Ubuntu, you might run into issues when trying to install Samba using GUI. Don't worry, we have got your back. Let's see how we can do it using the commands line. Let's start with updating APT packages. Open the terminal and run. Enter the password of your user. To install Samba, run this command. Now to check if you have installed Samba successfully or not, use this command. This will show you the location of Samba on your system. Now you have the option to create a Samba user directory using a graphical user interface or GUI. Begin by navigating to Files and selecting the Home section. Then proceed by clicking on this button right here and you will find the option to create a directory. Click on this. Now give any name to the folder and then simply click on the create button. Now the folder that I created called Samba Share is now visible on my home directory. When configuring Samba using GUI, you might come across a few problems such as firewall issues, Samba password creation and adding users to the Samba database. Let's break down how to solve these problems step by step. First, open the Ubuntu terminal and type in. Enter the password of your user. This command will restart the Samba services and should fix any issues with Samba not working as expected. Now execute this command to allow Samba through firewall. To add a user to the Samba database, use the following command. This command will prompt you to set and reconfirm the password for Samba. I will set the password now. To share a folder, you need to make sure it's accessible through Samba. Here's how you can do that. First, go to Settings and navigate to Sharing section and make sure the Sharing button is turned on. Then go to Files and locate the folder you want to share. Here it was Samba Share. Right click on it and select local network share option. After that, select share this folder and click on create share button. Once you've done that, right click on the folder again to set user access and go to properties. Now go to permissions section and click on change permissions for enclosed files. You can now change permissions for different categories of users such as owner, group and others. Modify them according to your preference and select the change button. Let's close this. Now to access the Samba share from another system using GUI, you will first need to identify the IP address of the Samba server. To obtain it, follow the steps. First, go to Settings and navigate to Network Panel. Click on the icon marked on Wired. Now in the Details section, you can locate the IPv4 address, which is the required IP address of your Linux system. In my case, it is 192.168.153.128. Make sure to note down the IP address because you will need it for future use. Next, I will demonstrate two scenarios for accessing a Samba share using a graphical interface on both Linux and Windows system. To connect Samba share on Linux, open files once again and go to other locations. At the bottom, you will notice an option called connect to server. Simply write down the IP address and name of the shared folder here like this and then click on the connect button. 
Once you've done that, you will be prompted to authenticate your folder. Select Registered User and input your Samba username and password. Then press on the Connect button. By doing this, you will automatically gain access to the files and folders on the Samba server. For instance, now I have access to this folder called New Samba within the Samba Shared folder. To connect Samba Share on Windows, first open File Explorer and choose this PC. Then click on Add a Network Location right here. Now click on Next to proceed. Select on Choose a Custom Network Location and hit on Next. After that, in the Internet or Network Address box, write down the IP address of Linux once again along with the shared folder name. Now press on the Next button. Press on Next again. Click on Finish. Now put down the credentials, that is the username and password of your Linux system. Click OK. And that's it. This has led me to the contents of Samba Share. And that's how you can easily access the files and folders within Samba directory from Windows. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching.